Hello, everybody. We're live. Can y'all hear us? Because we have been sitting here for like 15 minutes. Not 15. Okay. All of five minutes. Six minutes. Si okay. Six. I'll give him six. Trying to figure out the sound. Can y'all hear us? Please say yes. Because there was a major echo. Can y'all hear us? Hello. Hola. Adios. Au revoir, Pee Wee. Well, you gotta hang on. There's, oh, there's like a, 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 a couple delay. delay. You can hear us and no echo? Is there an echo? Sounds perfect. Yay. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining into the Vape Wives. Um, Angela was on and she started feeling sick, so she she may have to go to the doctor or something so y'all give her some well wishes um and solamente buenos vibras yes good vibes only going out to angela yes yes see who this is um so special guest vape wife heavy we are going to be reviewing um vape craft bombshell and usually like i try the juices beforehand so i have no clue what they taste like so y'all are in for a treat yes get off your damn phone it's, it's work it's work it's always work i love his work though anyway so how's everybody doing in chat let's see who we got uh joe white leslie's vaping margaret mayhaus jason keys justin, justin jenkins t is lip therapy hello Faye, spring vaping UGA girl. Um, How about them dogs, Spring? Chris Brady, Barry Hot, Maria. Hey, could you get up out of my get personal my space? This is how we're going to do this all night. God. Dano136, Terry Vapor, Matt Williams. Hello, welcome. Uh, Katie Tucker, June Shannon. Hola, hello, everybody. Welcome. Joe White. I've already said that. that was and one. and Brittany, you probably didn't say hello, hello to Brittany. You know she's watching. I know. Hello, the same desk. Hi, how are you? Yeah. It was wonderful meeting you, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, <clears throat> I decided to drag him on because we have missed the past two weeks, and I didn't want to do another show missed. So I decided to just you know say, hey, come sit down with me. I didn't have anybody else to call and ask. Um, I think Amy is busy doing something and she doesn't have the juice, so it'd be sort of weird with her sitting there and me testing the juices. Um, and so, yeah. So we're gonna start off with our first one. Hashtag not weed weed, just saying. Let's is that the first not, one? Let's not talk about that. All right, so <laughs> what? Uh, what's the name of this juice line? It is called Bombshell. I've already said that, thing. Okay, you. where can you get it? Vapecraft. Dot com. Yeah, there's nothing written on this screen. I know. So looking over there's not going to That's Angela's anything. job. Angela usually says all that, and I cannot. So, so uh, Bombshell, right? They're all named after, uh, I guess, like 60s, 70s bombshells, right? Uh, and they all have, like, tattoos and shit on them. So it's like recreations of uh, the, the chicas like Marilyn and Mae West and you know, all those kind of girls. So... Um, I I have tried these before. He's alive. So, they just came uh, out. He's never tried them. We've just had this discussion. Brittany, I had this juice two years ago. They okay. sent samples to the shop. Okay. Look, okay, I got a black eye right here. So, this is going to be a good one because uh, I got a pretty <laughs> damn good idea of where these went when they sent them to me. So, let's see. They may have reformulated them. Well, they okay. may have. So, anywho. Anyways. The first one is going to be Audrey. Look up here. They're they're in there. They're Audrey. not in here. They're in I know. There. I'm trying to see. Okay, anyways. The first one is Audrey. Aubrey? As in Aubrey Hepburn? No, Audrey Hepburn, dumbass. But whatever. <laughs> same thing. It is not the it's same. It's the same thing. fucking name. It is not the same thing. What is a lowercase d? It's a flipped Are around lowercase b. Though, or what not ambidextrous? Ambidextrous? <laughs> I think ambidextrous people would All take right, with both to that. hands. What's the what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Shit! I'm Someone tell me what that dyslexic word is. Dyslexic. Is there the we word go. you're looking for? God dang it! Jesus Christ, <laughs> Murphy! Can we try this fucking <laughs> yeah. juice or what? Would you like to smell it? No. You gotta you gotta Why smell not? it because I'm a smeller. You can't give the first impression. Why is why is this locked? 
Because I was doing something with it. Hmm. It's a little... A little nosy. <laughs> He's throwing the shit everywhere. Why are you still looking at the goddamn screen, Brittany? I'll get your... Look at the camera. So, uh, I am not 100% sure what this one's supposed to taste like, but I know this. It tastes like, uh, shit. It, it doesn't taste like shit. The thing is, oh. he thinks everything tastes like no, shit. No, th look. It's, that's, it sort of, does sort of have like a lemony taste to it. Like it's, it may, you know what? Here, it's almost let's like a pull it up pebbles. real quick. Can we pull up this website? It's probably a Fruity Pebbles. Can we pull this website up real quick? Sure. Vape Craft. Vape Craft. Shut the fuck up. We're going to pull it up like Angela does because it's vape craft. Yeah, you probably should have done that uh, ahead of time. I, I never, I'm not used to it, so shut your mouth. Okay. All right, so, oh, you're right. It's, it's supposed to be a lemon square, and it's not a fucking lemon square. I am the legal smoking age, thank you. But you don't smoke. I don't smoke. God damn it. I, you know what? I hate these websites to have like, oh, spend for 10% off. <laughs> I mean, I get the lemon. So, it's a bold lemon bar kissed with sweet powdered sugar. I don't, I literally don't. So, I literally get all of that. Okay. And that so just shows that this, let, two different people can have a different taste. Let's try not being weak sauce and actually put triple digits to this. I'm not even a vapor. The fight wives. That's exactly what it is. No, that... That tastes like pledge on a biscuit. And I don't get it. It's and the nicotine is really harsh. Their nicotine is harsh. The nicotine is like ha ta ta punch you in the throat harsh. So yeah, I, I give that one a big fat ass thumbs down. This is why I can't have him on here because he is like going to be. Why? Because I tell a fucking No, because he's going to be negative about every single thing. I'm not going to be negative. If it tastes good, I'll say it tastes good. Okay. This okay. Is not my as long as you give an honest review, opinion. I am, but that one tastes like shit. There's my honest opinion. I mean, to me, it's not horrible, and we all know that. Well, I really would say that it is horrible. The nicotine is harsh, and the lemon tastes like pledge. That's a lot of the problem with a lot of lemon vapes. That's why lemon it powder it. doesn't have an overwhelming lemon flavor. Yeah. I mean, it's not... I, I can't taste anything but the lemon in that one. Like, at all. We cleanse my palate with some raspberry lime water. When we were vaping it lower, I could have tasted the powdered sugar, but now I just taste lemon. So, can we move on to the next one? Because that one it tastes like hot garbage. Yes, next. Bob Ellis dropping the hammer. He said, hashtag bearded wife. Hashtag heavy hitter. Hashtag gong. We should have broke out the gong. You should have got the gong. Go get it. Should we get the gong? Let's should see we some bring X on the gong? Let's Would see some like X see ones it? if we get the gong. Let's see it in chat. I'll rig it up so we can put it back here and just... Bing. That's no, not bing. It's <laughs> That's gong. That's not a bing. That's not <laughs> Why a bing. I keep staring at myself. I, okay, so he keeps on moving this freaking camera. No, I don't. So, no, yeah, because yesterday yeah, it was yeah, sitting right no, here. Because, yeah. And then now it's here. Yeah, bro. And then we had a different camera. <laughs> And then, and then yesterday we had a different camera, so you got, X1s are overwhelming. Okay, well. Get the gong, bong, gong, gong. Get the gong? <laughs> the gong. Get the bong? Go get the gong. I don't have I'm a bong. spitting everywhere. Yeah, how about <laughs> spitting all over my shit, please? Hello, Kyle C. All right, can you have the next one ready by the time it's I get the gong It's fucking gone, go. Here? Okay, we'll give Bob Ellis a gong for dropping the Satan521, hello. Biller High Life, Ruben, Nick Thompson, hi, how are you? Andrea Brissett, I think I said that right. Uh, who else? Stephen Garlington, JTH Reviews. <coughs> Let's see, what are we doing next? We are doing... What are we doing? Oh, our church. Hello, Curtis M. Nicholas Finn. You know Trying what? to. I just walked back there looking for my fucking iPad. And it's, and it's probably here down here. Time. Yeah, right behind me. It's right down here. Yep, right behind me. 
All right, what's the next one? <laughs> the next one is Marilyn. Marilyn, like is in Marilyn Monroe? Exactly. As okay. Marilyn's mother. Here we go. It's so shiny that you can't really see it because the lights are so bright. You know what, Yorgos? I think you may be on to something. What? He said, boot the douche guest. Hey. I agree. Hey. Can we ask to me all night? I'm not being an ass. <laughs> Hello, Salvi Wynn. Is, is that right? So, okay. okay. Marilyn, it's a seductive strawberry marshmallow fluff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that sounds fucking delicious. Ow! Hello, Mom. Hi, how are you? Leo Berry said, need a gong up in this biatch. Hashtag gong. Thank you. Nope. Jesus Christ. What? Charlie, thank you for the $5 donation. He said, preach it like it is. Brother heavy. Hashtag heavy hitter. Hashtag gong. Dude, that thing's got some resonance, too. It lasts. Holy. <laughs> See, they all said, my headphones, that's, that's too loud. Plumber's butt, indeed. Can we do the next <laughs> fucking juice? Oh, yes. Okay. Jesus. So, we're using the foosh? Foosh. Oh, how do, one, two, three, four, five. Right? Look at Garlington. Garlington gets one of the fucking... See, everybody said it's too rough. Oh. So it smells like strawberry, strawberry, marshmallow fluff. Uh, let's see, Yorgos. Uh, you got to go, bruh. I can be all the fucking douche I want to be. You can be a douche at the kids' table. <coughs> Is it any good? Is it dry now? It's pretty good, actually. And I couldn't get it to light up because I can't figure out how to light it up. One, two, three. Foosh. I think that's what they meant when that they did that. It's killing the mic, see? That's too loud, too loud. Bullshit. Bob Ellis said, whoa, this was actually pretty good. It is pretty Bob good. Bob Ellis said louder. <coughs> no, 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 Bob Ellis, no. <coughs> I made him turn it down. Hello, so Amy this is Relish. Like a strawberry cream. It's a straw seductive strawberry marshmallow fluff. I get the I get the little marshmallow at the end. I was thinking it was maybe a cheesecake or something, but it's I can I can get the uh I can you know what? Okay, so this tastes a lot better than the last marshmallow fluff I tried. Oh yeah. That was the absolutely big horrible. It was like big ass bottle. Who made that? I don't know. It was like this big and it's called trash. a marshmallow fluff and it was Horrible, but you know what? We sold it for like ten bucks at the shop, and people bought it like crazy. Yeah, that just proves people will buy shitty fucking juice if it's cheap. Yeah, Gary Jazorski, five dollars. Can't help it if it's bad juice. Heavy hitter. Hashtag heavy hitter. Hashtag gong. Better is that better, y'all? Couldn't yes. hear that gong anyway to <laughs> anyway to turn it. No, sure. Stephen, damn it! Let's make sure Gary gets what he paid for. There we go. Is that better? No, turn it down. Our kids are probably trying to sleep. Like, what in the hell? That one is actually pretty good. I, I may actually keep that one. That one's not bad. It's pretty good. <coughs> so did y'all all have a chance? I don't know. To Do you get a little alcoholy after flavor? Are you drunk? No. Am I drunk? No, I drank enough last weekend. I may still be drunk, though. Could possibly be. Thanks to uh, Joe White and Stephen Garlington and uh, Gary Jaworski. Jaworski. I can't, I can't pronounce your last name, Gary. I'm sorry. Jaworski. I don't get an alcohol taste. I get a... <clears throat> it's got like a little blah, blah. The strawberry is sort of... 
you know how the strawberry usually tastes sort of, I guess, what is it? Not formula. Is it formulated that I'm looking for? Not that word. Chemical? Chemically, yeah. So, I mean, it's not horrible. It's, it's actually pretty good, but. Dustin Vapor wants that keen. I kind of want my keen, too. It's not bad. So, did y'all all watch his, um. <laughs> vlog. His vlog. <laughs> did y'all watch it? That was a good vlog. It, somebody watched it. It's got 1,800 fucking views on so, it. Somebody so, did y'all notice, like, the, the expedition we went on at the very beginning? Did anybody notice that? <coughs> so, what we were doing is, when I got there, I was trying to change my... No, it doesn't taste like perfume, Bob. Um, I was trying to change my cotton. Well, in the room, I didn't want my... The... the smoke alarm to go off or smoke detector to go off <coughs> so i tried to clean my coils as good as i could which was not much like my coils were black i guess because all the juice i've been vaping turns it black but you know it is what it is anyways so she likes them sweet i came downstairs with my cotton in my coils right okay so what he tells me is hey let's go over to joel blair boom jb coils Finest handmade coils in the U.S. So, exactly, Joe White, to get coils. So, I'm like, I go see Angela, and I'm like, hey, do you have any scissors so I can cut my cotton? Boom! Robert Scarelli says just because he gets a motherfucking gong. Thank you, Robert Scarelli. Oh, damn. That was weak. <laughs> oh, my God, Steven. Oh, I can't say that out loud. Anyways, so I go to Angela, and I'm like, hey, can I borrow your scissors? And Andy's like, uh, let's go get you some coils. So we go on this long journey because we get we stop like 15 times to look at random shit. It wasn't looking at random shit. It was talking to people. It was talking people. to people and look at random stuff. God. And so we get there, and he's like, okay, let's get you some scissors. <laughs> Let's get scissors. I'm like, dude, I fucking had scissors from Angela. And I'm like, I thought you were going to change my coils. So, needless to say, I had nasty coils the whole weekend. The, the, you know, I'm with a reviewer and my coils were probably the worst coils in the building. Um, Just saying. Can you hand me that little package right over there? The the coil master small bag? No, I'm, we're done. Please? Nope, that was a good story. Please? Nope. Now, I want y'all to see this, just so y'all know I ain't full of shit. I literally got all of these fucking coils sitting over there at Joe Blair, and um, somebody too lazy to change them. I mean, I can't help the facts. The facts are, no, the I fact, got coils. The fact was that, back, that we went there to get me coils, and he completely forgot what we were there to get. Anyways, it was a wonderful show. You know my mind's terrible. Did I look mad, Ryan? Where? When I got the, the cotton cut? Oh, Yorgo said, heavy can't take it. I can take you back to the kids' table. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor y Yorgos. Poor Yorgos. He's not going to get to... Yeah, Andrea, I gave him shit the whole weekend. And then when we got back, I was like, did you even watch your video? Like, you sat here the whole time telling me that... Um... Can we review the goddamn juice, please, sweetheart? No, we need content. This is great content. Oh, here, I need to do this for somebody real quick. Hang on. <laughs> hang oh, on. You want me to do it too? Yeah, hang on one second. Hang on. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for a second. I said wait. Nicholas Finn says WWF Jake the Snake motherfucking right. Yep. That was yep. the shit. I did pick up some juice that I really liked. It's called Thebes or the the Bees. Thebes? I don't know. Anyways, it's a pineapple. It is fucking delicious. I don't know who it's made by. I don't think that's... It was like some... Okay, so we're doing this for somebody who watches us. Anyways, we had someone that... Now it's not <laughs> dripping out of my nose. Yeah, I know it. Somebody commented like four or five times. He's like, show us some nose clouds. I want to see nose clouds. On every video. Every video. Like, 
So there are some nose clouds for you. If you're from fetish, heavy and Brittany. If your fetish is nose clouds, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the <laughs> fucking problem is. Nose clouds, like I don't get good flavor from it. Like I guess he said he gets good flavor, but I don't get really good flavor. I get it more from like the inhale, exhale, and when I do nose clouds, like it drains. You know who really likes nose clouds? <laughs> hey. Cricket dick. <laughs> Cricket dick. Hashtag cricket dick. Hashtag cricket dick. All right, what's up next? What do we got? Lucille, as in Lucille Ball. From okay, uh, let's what go show here. is she from? Uh, Laverne and Shirley. I love Lucy. Wrong again. Stop. Damn. I'm going to smell it. You're fucking me up. Calm down. Calm your tits. Calm I don't have tits. Calm your tits. You got First tits. Of all. So, Lucille. Ooh, this looks like it might be one of my... I can this tell you looks, this. I'm not going to dig this one This one looks like all. it's going to be my jam. I hope it tastes good. So, the flavor of Lucille is an iconic blend of spunky pineapple and creamy coconut. This That's what I'm vaping on right now is pineapple. I hope this tastes good. I really do. Oh. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> you got to open the fucking airflow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Gary. Hashtag for the $5 donation. Woo. Hashtag not weed. Hashtag cricket dick. Hashtag gong. This one is actually, you know what? Oh, but he's tasted all these, right, y'all? He's tasted every single one of these. The coconut is not even there. The coconut's not even there. You're, I, I don't think you're going to like it, to be honest with you. Oh, God. Because I, I know how you are. You like pina coladas. It kind of tastes... Uh, the aftertaste is a, is slightly suntan lotion-ish. But I, I sort of like that taste because I love that smell. I don't know. Hello, Laura Krasniak. We got to meet you and your husband, John. Is that right? I don't want to be... They um, took a picture with you at the Pillar of Clouds booth. She had glasses. There was a lot of those. Or he had glasses. <clears throat> I would say they were wearing a hoodie, but um, everybody there was wearing a hoodie. Oh, was that the shorter lady? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. Yes, very nice meeting all y'all. Thank you, John Krasniak, for the $20 donation. Hello <laughs> to you both from both of us. Great time last Saturday. Hashtag... Sucks the bull was broke. I agree. I agree. I do like this one. I actually like it. I don't know. It kind of tastes uh, blah, blah, blah. I like it. I, ooh. I Charlie's like it Angels. Like thank you for the uh, donation. She says hashtag Team Brit. Thank you. Thank you. Hashtag Team Brit. Hashtag, could you scoot over that one? No, I can't. If I scoot over some more, I'm going to be up in this thing. You're going to be all up in over here in my, my personal space. You want me to get in your personal no. space? There we go. I'll get up in your personal space, girl. I get, oh my God. Woo. I Either that tip. fucking stinks or your <laughs> breath is rotten. Probably rotten. I ate some fried Oreos today. Hashtag not keto. I tasted a fried... Should I show them the keto pizza that I got for dinner? Oh, yeah. Go show them the pizza. Thank you, Charlie's Angel, again for another do uh, $4.99 donation. Hashtag Team Brit. Not sure if you meant to do that or not. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. So y'all, y'all take a look at this pizza that this, this local joint. This is a keto pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag keto, not keto. And I didn't eat pizza today before this because if I did, everything would taste like pizza. We've already figured that out. I've done that before. We're not gonna do that again. But yeah, like this one's pretty good. It doesn't taste suntan lotion -y to you. I taste the coconut. I taste a raw coconut. It's pretty damn good. Like, I could vape this. I could vape it. You are See, vaping. See, the thing is, you wanted to dislike this juice so much that you actually liked two of them. 
I didn't say I liked that one. But you, did, you said it wasn't bad. I said it wasn't horrible. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Patrick King, Mr. First Class. The first one was trash, though. The first one wasn't that. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. Aubrey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep this one. This one's really good. Uh, Brittany, I don't know what about that is a fucking B to you. It's a D. I said D, dumbass. You said B. You just called her Aubrey again. This is our life, y'all. Our life. On camera. And y'all can ask anybody out there. This is how we act. For real, for real. <coughs> Anyways. Mmm. That one is not good. You just said it was. It's, but it's not my, number one, it's not my flavor profile. Exactly. And number two, it tastes very suntanny to me. I don't think it tastes suntanny. It's. And see, and I love a coconut and pineapple vape, so, like, that and cinnamon are like my jams. Y'all see that gnat that just flew by? <laughs> I thought that was on the screen. <laughs> that was our special guest. He just flew right on by. Yep. <laughs> Fucking bug. Okay. So, our fourth one is, and we're going sort of fast, so we have to tell some more stories in a second. Well, we've got a question right there from uh, Maddox Daddy Vapes. Hey, guys. Looking to get my first Mac. Don't have a large budget. Any suggestion? Right here. Boom. The king. Yes. This one is, it hits just as hard as the Dreamer. It performs just as well. Looks just as good. And it's uh, $20 cheaper. And... I don't know if it's tonight or tomorrow night. Stan's doing... Well, tonight Stan's doing his review or his, I guess... Reveal. Reveal. And then I bet tomorrow, I'm guessing they're going to be available. He only has 100 available. So, if you're wanting one, you better jump on that. And Heavy will be recording his review tomorrow. <gasps> Ooh. So, that should be out for the Patreons on Monday and everybody else on Tuesday or Wednesday. More than likely Tuesday. Unless I get it all filmed and cut up and edited together and put out there tomorrow, which could happen. Uh, if I get it all edited down and everything, it could be up for Patreons tomorrow. So, Patreons, heavy hitters, keep that, uh, keep that, keep them eyes open, baby. Yeah. Um, Patrick King said, I got stalker pics of you guys getting on the plane. I think you were a stalker all weekend. Like, you got stalker pics of SD also. <laughs> um, and then us, yeah. yeah. All right, what's this one? So, this one is Elizabeth, Elizabeth. And it is a decadent cream cheese frosted cinnamon treat. Mmm. Did you just burp? No. I said, mm. Did you fart? No. Trust me, if I farted, you'd know it. I can't tell. What is this? Is that juice? Probably. <laughs> but it's not. Anytime I go to smell it, though, it smelled like a fart. And did y'all see what Heavy bought me today? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not even trying that one. He bought me an SQ. How pretty is that? Yes. Anyone know if Angela is okay? Yes, she is okay at last At last uh, communication. Yeah, I talked to her and she said um, that Mark was rubbing her back. That was sweet. And she's going to see if she can get the pain to go away. Are you going to yeah. try this fucking oh, juice? Or yeah. are you just going to keep looking at the screen like it's going to give you the fucking lottery numbers? Okay, this is not a favorite at all. Is You know what? It smells really good on, on the exhale. Can, can I try it? Or? I need some more juice. It's not a lot of cinnamon. Not a lot of cinnamon. I like cinnamon. You know, you know how some juices taste like a wet cinnamon? I guess with some butter in it? This, it, I can taste a dry cinnamon, like off the stick. That's gross. Yeah. That's gross. It's not, it's. <laughs> no, don't, don't even try. That is fucking gross. Hi, Bailey. It tastes like. Yeah, Angela's sick. She's not feeling better. I mean, she's not feeling that great. No, I don't think it was this that smelled like a fart. I think he farted. I didn't fucking fart. Or he burped or something. Or maybe the dog farted. 
That juice is fucking gross. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this yeah, one. Yeah, that shit is fucking... Yeah, the company Ugh. is um, Vapecraft, so it's Vapecraft Inc. Ugh. Um, and this That's is horrible. the bombshell line. It, at first, <laughs> can I, I guess I'm going to tell my... horrible. At first taste, like when I first tasted it, it tasted like, um, how many times am I going to say taste? Dick skin. It tasted like turkey and dressing. Turkey and dressing. It was it was a weird first taste, I guess. Yes, hashtag dog farts are the worst. Oh. Yeah. It's it's not it's not no, a favorite. You know what? That juice is the worst. It's 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 not. It's this this right here. Cabbage can. It, this doesn't even have the lid on it. Yeah. What? Give me that. No. Give me that. Quit. The fucking garbage can at? Stop it. That Wrong was garbage. spelling, Justin. What'd you say? Heavy, are there any keen Sarah coated? Uh, no. I think they have an electroplated black. So, do y'all have but any dude, questions if you're, in chat? If you're going for a fucking mech, man, it's not that hard to polish brass. I don't know why everybody is on this kick of having colored aluminum or painted copper. Get or that tub and towel. No. Oh, well. We got this new stuff. Use fucking hot sauce. It cleans all the shit off of your mechs and then wipe them down with a microfiber towel. It's not, like, it's not hard. Like, you rub them down once a week, they're good to go. So, does anybody have any questions in chat? Because we have one juice left and I don't want to, like, run through them like we just did. But he's sort of rushing me. I'm not rushing you. He's rushing Brittany, I'm not Russian. So, what was your favorite... I'm Irish. What was your th favorite part about the weekend, this past weekend? My favorite part of the weekend? Yeah. Um, the fact that the heavy hitters did not fucking disappoint. They were... I said we were going to go out and we were going to fucking party every night and we were going to go hard in the fucking paint. And that bunch of goddamn savages just performed. Yeah. Just performed. And Brittany, God bless her soul, with the she's with child and shit, and she hung right there with us. Not this Brittany. This Brittany no. is not with child. No. Joe White's wife, uh, girlfriend, fiance. She's, Joe's Brittany. Joe's Brittany is with child. Not this Brittany. Yeah. I am <laughs> not pregnant. Thank God. We got that fixed. Yeah. Anyways, so do you guys like each other? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys like no? Uh, well, I like her, but I know for a fact she don't like me. So, but no, uh, I think uh, I think my favorite part was like hanging out with like Stephen Garlington. How can you how can you take anything away from that dude? Not only did he drive fifty six fucking hours round trip to hang out, but he fucking troopered through yep. the entire weekend. He was drinking beer for beer, shot for shot, Tito's and Cranberry for Tito's and Cranberry. Yep. So, like, uh, it, I don't know. Um, Salvi Wynn said, is it Wynn or Winnie? I don't want to put much. What do I need to take into consideration if I buy a mech for the first time? Uh, the, the number one thing you need to take into consideration is the RDA... Uh, you're going to use on it. Number two should be the build that you're going to use in it. And number three is going to be the battery that you choose to run said build and dripper with. Uh, the reason I put them in that order is because number one, if your dripper that you're going to use is not hybrid mechanical safe and you're looking at a hybrid mechanical mod, that could be a bad day very quickly. Uh, without the proper RDA, the build and the battery don't fucking matter. Um, so if if you find a dripper with an appropriate 510 pin, right, uh, then you move into your build. So what build do you want? How do you want to vape? If you like a cooler vape, I would go upwards of 0 0.17, 0 0.2, somewhere in there. Uh, if you like a hotter vape, uh, anything to <laughs> down to a 0 0.10. Glad I didn't find out you were pregnant in chat. Oh my God, Cheryl, she's not pregnant. I promise you. Oh you Jesus! Fuck to get her pregnant. Oh my God! 
What? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. We got proof. Twice. I mean, there's fucking proof Twice right in at there. Least. So, anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? <coughs> oh. Without the uh, without the proper RDA, your build and your battery don't matter because it's not going to work anyways. Uh, once you get past the RDA and you've got an appropriate RDA, then you go into build. If you like it war if you like it warmer, uh, anything down to a .10 is uh, is going to be really good. Anything above a .18 is going to be a little bit cooler vape, a little bit more mild. Um, if you if you have all of those and those stars align, then you go to battery. So is your is your mech uh, an 18650? Is it a 2700? Is it a 21700? Uh, all of those, you should definitely go over to uh, Battery Mooch's Instagram. He reviews all the batteries. He stress tests them. What he does is nothing short of amazing uh, as far as battery testing goes. And if you're using a 21700, because those seem to be, be very prevalent these days, uh, you should definitely pick up a 30T. Don't even bother with anything else. Samsung 30T, they're available. They're cheap, uh, relatively speaking. And uh, they can be had just about any anywhere on the internet. Uh, the 30Ts are going to keep you uh, safe down to a point one. Um, so... Yeah, th those are the three main things in the in my preferred order that you need to take into consideration before you even pick up a mechanical mod. If you don't know what a, a protruding 510 pin is, stay away from a mech. If you don't know what the the specs of the build that you're about to put in an RDA is, do not mess with a mech. If you don't understand why a battery is supposed to be used for a particular build or a particular application, don't mess with a mech. It's just the safest way to be. Um, so yeah, I, I I would look at it just like that first. There you have it. What about you? What do you think? I I use what you give me. Um, I listen to what you say. So you're admitting you don't know battery safety? I do know battery safety. Oh. What? But I don't know it as in depth. I know like if when I put my battery, like what battery I have to use and if I have to put it up or down depending on where the vents are. Uh, Jason Hayes says, I vape a 0 0.07. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I, I have been known to have super sub ohm builds myself, but I don't recommend that to anybody asking a first time question. Uh, the question was specifically for first-time mech mod buyers, and if you're telling people that you that it's safe to vape at a zero seven on their first mech, uh, you need to stop giving people advice on mechanical mods. And I'm not saying that to be an asshole. I'm just saying it like, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm if that's it like what that you vape, that's it's, fine. It's the truth. As long as you know what you're doing, that's fine. I'm not in a habit of blowing smoke up people's ass. <clears throat> um. Terry Vapor says, I drip in my pants. You might want to go to the doctor and get that checked out. Yep. They have medicine for that. They do have medicine for that. Um, Stephen Garlington said, best trip I've ever been on. We had a blast and it was worth every second of the drive. I'd do it again tomorrow. Next time you're flying. Yep. Uh, Charlie, hashtag heavy hitters party hardest. I agree. Just I saying. Agree. I didn't see a bed before 2.30 yep. the whole weekend. Yep. So, uh, <coughs> Yep. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, just slaughtering it. Salvi said I always vape 0.2 ohms on my goon. 0.2 on the goon? Uh, yeah, so you can, you open up more battery options when you, uh, it, okay, so you've got two things taken care of already. So you've got the, the RDA, a goon is more than, uh, more than capable for a hybrid mechanical mod and you know where your build is at. So now you need to find the appropriate battery for that build. I would still say if it's 18650, uh, I would go with something like a VTC 5A. You're not gonna get the best battery life, but it's definitely gonna have the amp draw um, that you can, that, that's appropriate for that build. Um, but yeah, I, I would most definitely 
uh, research your battery at this point because that's that's your next logical step and then once you have those three things together then you can start looking at well I want to get the Keen or I want to get the Foosh or I want to get the Dreamer or I want to get the Plan B stack or what you know whatever the case is yep. hello Stan at 3D how are you doing Vaping Joe said, Heavy, I had to throw away my AV stack mine last night thinking about buying a Mage 2. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I have a video up, and you can definitely feel free to go check that out, but I think the Mage V2 uh, price to performance is probably the best stack on the market. Uh, I mean, you can get you can get stacks that are slightly more exp uh, expensive that, uh, that perform just as well possibly a little bit better but i don't think you're definitely not going to find anything under uh the the 70 dollars price tag of the mage v2 that, that's going to be a complete kit um at that price point I, I would say if it was between the mage v2 and the bonza uh i would definitely go with the mage v2 over the bonza all day every day it it just it performs out of way out of its fucking price category I have a question. Charlie's Angel, is that Jennifer? Maybe. I can't tell from the picture. I'm trying to look. Is the foosh good? Um, good is a subjective term. I got it. I swear to God, I, I got it because uh, I just thought it was the, the most gimmicky little shitty thing I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, you know... It hasn't disappointed because it's it's pretty cool, you know. But as far as nice performance as far as performance goes, there's much better out there for that price tag. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. If it's you want that. if you want a very, very good uh mech mod in the under hundred dollar yeah. or <laughs> under seventy dollar range, I would go with the Torin. If you want something between 70 and 100, I would go with the, either the Keen or the Dreamer. Uh, if you want something between 100 and 150, I would go with the Vindicator. Uh, if you want anything 150 and up, I would say the, the next best thing after that, that that's actually worth the money is probably the truck from Purge uh, or the Back to Basics V2. Uh, or the Overlord. The Overlord crushes, and it's only like two and a quarter. It's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. So um, there's there's some things for you to kind of figure out what your budget is. It does look magical, pretty mean gumbo, doesn't it? Very magical. Yeah, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Like I love shiny, and I love colors, and oh, I love extra bright, fancy. and it is wonderful. It is wonderful. Like I'm watching it in the thing right here. It's, cool. it's very cool. <laughs> Tell the story about the foosh. Uh, <laughs> so, I go up to the booth where the, the, the foosh booth. So, I go up to the foosh booth and um, the. <laughs> I walk over and there's a guy standing there and there's a Chinese girl standing there. And um, I walk up and she goes, Ah, you look at our mech mine. So I reach. We don't have any of that talk on here, and here you go. Any here of what talk? Here you go. Talking how Chinese people talk. Sorry. That's how she said it. Okay. <sighs> so, anyways, uh, I go over there, and she says, "I oh, look at her mech." So I, I pick it up, and the, I look over, and the guy's got this look on his face of kind of sadness and confusion all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks over, and I'm like, "Hey, man, tell me about this mech." And he was like. Please don't. I said, what are you talking about? He was like, I kind of, like, I know who you are, and please don't. And I was like, what, dude? I'm looking at the fucking mech. I'm just <laughs> looking at it. Like, tell me about it. And he's like, oh, my God. Okay, so he starts going into the spiel about, you know, what it is and what kind of battery and how it operates and shit like that. And I told him, I said, all right, sell me one. I said, how much? I said, um, I said, how much? And he was like, oh, God, no. And he looks over at his buddy, and he was like, hey, how how much for uh, a YouTube reviewer to buy one of these? And he was like, I don't know, what whatever you want. <laughs> and so the dude's like, how about 50? And I was like, eh, I like 40 a lot better. 
And he was like, all right, I'll let you get it for 40 So as he puts it in my hand, he was like, are you going to review this? And I was like, yeah, more than likely. He was like, oh, God. All right. And, you know, I had a couple of other little questions for him. He was like, oh, well, I mean, it'll fire down to an 07. And I was like, oh, really? So I grabbed one of their display models, unscrew the, the RDA off of it, screw my RDA on, pop a battery in it, and go to hit it. It will not fire down to an 07, I promise you. Unless that build I had was an 06, it ain't firing an 07. And I know it wasn't an 06. Uh, I know what Joel put in that RDA, and it was not an 06. Matt Clark asked where we can get the Overlord. I think Stephen, yeah, he said you can only get it on their Instagram. Yeah, isn't that right? What? The Overlord. Uh, I know Scott Zegans has some uh, coming in. I think he should have 10 stateside uh, next week. So I would most definitely hit up, uh, uh, hit him up on Facebook and let him know you want to get on the list for the Overlord. I, I don't know who he has on the list already, and the way it works is when they come in, he gets the first person that's been waiting on it, they get to pick their color, and then the, the colors just go down the line. Everybody gets to pick their own until there's none left. So, Country Boy Vapes, well, welcome to the show. It's okay if you're late. You missed a good show so far. At least I think so, maybe. I don't know. Better um, late than never. Yeah, I mean, you'll have to go back and watch the shit show, actually. Um, Maria M., is was, is she the one that brought the candy? Yes, Maria M., we... Oh, my God, I devoured so much of that candy. Yes, Maria came, <laughs> and we got to meet Maria. Um, She brought the candy, and it was wonderful. My kids were like, we should have did a, an Olivia Eats for this, and it was already gone, so we couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, uh... Charlie said it right there. Scott's going to be the uh, exclusive U.S. distributor for the uh, Overlords. So uh, you, you can definitely go to his Facebook group. It's just type in Yo 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 uh, Vape Life uh, in the search bar. Yeah. Heavy, you also have a YouTube channel? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, he does. Well, a lot of people don't. Of a lot of people, some people don't watch you. Uh, that's fine. You that's can find fine. him at Heavy Metal Vapor. B A P E R. He's got like a couple subs. I mean, he didn't have a ton. I like a he's handful. no vape wife. Yeah, I got a handful. He's no vape wife. Like he tries to be, <laughs> but he's not. Like he's not on the this level of greatness yet. He's getting there. One day. One day. <laughs> uh, what's a good build? A good RDA and build for a spade <laughs> single eighteen six fifty. Um. I would try the Joel Blair's Pro Comp Aliens. Those, because the you have to account for a little bit of voltage drop with the spade. Uh, in my opinion, I, I had one, and um, one of my heavy hitters wound up with it. But it does have a little bit of voltage drop between the battery and the fucking uh, RDA. So I would say you definitely need to compensate with something a little bit lower to where it evens out with the voltage drop. But make sure you're running good batteries. Samsung 20S is a fantastic single 18650 mech battery. Let's see. Margaret Mayhaus, I wore my Vape Wife shirt today. I love it. Thank you. I love it too. Um, where can we get a Vape Wife t-shirt? You can go on Teespring. Teespring? Teespring.com. Oh. I think it's the-vape-wives. Maybe you should have one of your wrenches drop that link. Yeah, wrench. I, I, yeah, if y'all know where to get it, go ahead and drop that link. <laughs> Why do you not have hey, Also, link? we have an idea what for a shirt. Shut up. What kind of unprofessional shit show is this? Because, like... Why is there a have a nice poop sign back there? <laughs> because... I just noticed it. I was at a craft show today, and I was doing some networking, so I walked up to this booth, and she had some really cool signs. So I was like, oh my God, Spencer would love this. So I ended up getting him and having a nice poop sign. <laughs> so we're going to put it in the bathroom. Like when he, he's taking a shit, and he's like, I am having a nice poop. Rick Thank Mahoney, you. how did you miss Joel at the show? If you were at the Half Moon booth, he was literally right there. First of all, when you were at the Half Moon booth, did you pick up some heavy tips? Because they were selling them three for 20. It was a fucking steal. It was a steal. Three for 20? Come on, man. 
Susan Sicoli, so happy I met you. Angela and Mark at MVE, my vape wife shirt came that night when I got home. Need to meet Heavy too. Did you not meet him? Because <coughs> I know you came over there, but he may have been walking away because he walked away. Uh, D-Bone, you have a wrench, so you can now drop that link if you would like. Oh, look at Garlington on Thank top you, Stephen. Thank you. Well, can you drop, can we do that since you're not supposed to drop links? It's not vape stuff, so it's a t-shirt, so I guess it's yes. okay. Okay. You're good, Stephen. You're good. Not your shit show, Andy, so shh. Uh, first of all, my name's <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> it's Andy. Everybody's gonna start calling you Andy because I do. And they do. They'll be sitting in Zoom and like Andy and like, oh God, he's gonna get mad at me. Like, it is what it is. Um, let's see. Hashtag not vape wife, vape wife. Yes. He's he's the honorary vape wife tonight. Oh, you're a single coil guy, so no eight tens. Womp womp. Yeah. Yeah, he was probably he yeah. There is a lot of people coming up to him also. You should have stuck around for a second, you could have met him. Or I could have pulled him away. Okay, so let's do the last juice. This Finally. is shut your pie hole. This is Sophia. Sophia is a sassy, a sassy bitch. Raspberry <laughs> lemonade, Italian ice. <laughs> so sassy. Fucking Sophia. Oh, we used to have a puppy named Sophia, but Aww. she got hit by a car in the middle of the street while I was standing there, and that was not a good day in my book. It smells pretty good. It does smell like a raspberry lemonade Italian ice. Mm. You might like this. This one, this one smells very sweet. No, it's it's got a chemical. Does it have culotta in it? Uh, taste that on your fucking no, thumb. No, I, I don't like tasting stuff in my thumb. It has a taste culotta it, in it, I think. Taste it on your thumb because that shit's like burning a hole in my fucking tongue. Uh, and by the way, topside dual B2K. Boom. Because you haven't told them what you're using on anything except for the... <coughs> I showed them the, the SQ because you bought side. it for me. Oh, by the way, this one's a prototype. Okay. Well, by the way, this is a prototype too. It's got a cool lot in it. It's got a weird taste. I'm not. I'm not a fan. I, raspberry is not my jam either. Like I see where they're trying. This is another fucking lemonade. Like it's. A, it's a raspberry lemonade. I see what they're trying to do. Trying to give the cool lot of taste. Or like the cool. Cool lot I see how where they're cool trying to give that cooling effect, like an Italian ice. And and. Why do you have a single coil at 85 watts? Jesus Murphy. Because it fucking caught on fire earlier. Well, maybe because you had it at 80 <laughs> fucking watts. Goddamn savage. That's what you had it at 100, dumbass. I had that one at 115. No, you had that one at 100. So, let me try it lowered. Yeah, that one tastes like, that one tastes like straight up alcohol. Yeah. At Brittany, you could at light heavy, that on fire. How long were both of you guys smoking cigarettes and how many packs before you both started vaping? I never smoked cigarettes. I started vaping because when we had our shop, we went to a convention and he's like, I'm going to need another, another like mouth to test this stuff out because he only likes a certain type of juices. Yep. And I'm like, okay, well, I tried. Well, the first time I took a, a pull at the convention, I'm coughing my ass off like, and I feel stupid in front of everybody who's like, doing it with ease and i'm sitting here hacking my ass up and um so a lot of ass to be had <laughs> it is so especially that one picture um oh <laughs> but uh oh different picture okay bailey hey so i started vaping from that because i didn't feel like going to those conventions looking stupid while i was testing the juices which is fine like i started off vaping zero and then he gave me something with a three in it. And the, the flavor tasted so much different than a zero. So I'm not saying go up if you're on a zero. But I'm just saying the three tastes better than me. And I probably can use a little bit of that nicotine to calm my ass down. Yeah. And I started smoking when I was 13. And uh, I, I smoked heavily, heavily in my teenage and, and early 20s. Um and then I quit, what, on my 30th, 30th birthday? Yeah. So, six years ago, 
Yeah, six years ago. Yeah, yeah. And Hello, I started, Batman. I started on the the little Sigalikes, and I was I was at two packs a day when I quit. Uh, I was on the little disposable Sigalike from Finn, and um, I used those for almost an entire year, like eight and a half, nine months. Uh, and then on my birthday, uh, my thirty first birthday, I smoked a cigarette, and it was literally the worst thing I'd ever tasted in my life. Uh, and that was that was kind of that was the end for me. I was done. Yeah. Yeah, Batman, he got 10000 Congratulations, oh, Batman. Shit. That's ba- awesome. I, I saw that earlier. Congratulations, brother. <coughs> so if y'all aren't subscribed to him, go over there and get yeah, him a Yeah, out with the Batman. Subscribe. Go hit his channel up. Yes. Um, but yeah, that is our line. Let's see. We have two. Um, two. Two for me. One for me. The strawberry one for you? Yeah, the, the strawberry one is... is Good, like that, it's Maryland? it's legitimately good. Yeah, the other ones are uh, the ones not your flavor, but I like it. Well, the rest of them to me are fucking garbage. You throw them in the trash. Well, I'm not going to throw this one away because I do like Sophia or Lucille. I do like Lucille. Lucille Ball's awesome. Lucille Ball's Ball. Even though you thought she was from fucking Laverne Shirley, she's not. That's what that is. I love Lucy. Oh, Lucille Ball is. I Who's love Laverne Lucy. Shirley. These nuts. But what's... That's what I call my left nut is Laverne, my right nut is Shirley. Oh, my God. Starsky So, and what is the woman's name that is in I Love Lucy? Lucille Ball! No, the other woman. What's her her cohort or whatever the hell she is? The other woman that's in it. Who is it? Can y'all tell me, please? I Love Lucy. I know. And Laverne and Shirley are two different fucking shows. You know that, right? Yeah, okay, now I do. But what is the other woman's name that's in that show with her? That they're they're always working together to do stupid shit. Can someone tell us, please? Because he doesn't obviously understand no. what I'm talking about. No. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz were I Love Lucy. Ethel. Ethel. Get. Ethel. That is assault. Thank you. First of all. Thank you. It's not assault. Penny Marshall. I barely tapped you on you your boobs. You hit me hard. Barely. Go. Barely. Ethel. See, everybody knows. Everybody knows but you. My nose is so red. It's who was, December. Who was Laverne and who was Shirley? Somebody tell me that. Ethel Marks. There you go. Who was Laverne and who was Shirley? Somebody put Laverne equals and then whoever that was and Shirley equals whoever that was. So you can see that neither one of them were Lucille Ball. Vivian Vance was, was Ethel, Ethel Mertz. Mertz. But see, there was an Ethel. Oh. Hello, colorful creations. How are you? Penny LaVere. Who is that? Penny Marshall was Laverne. Okay. Okay. Now, who was Shirley? Shirley was dark-headed. Wasn't it like Curly? Cindy Williams was Shirley. Okay. Okay. There you go. See? Neither one of those. But weren't they sort of alike? Like the, the show sort of alike? No! They weren't? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I guess I'm showing my age. Laverne and, uh, Laverne and Shirley was in color, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't fucking know. I wasn't alive then. <laughs> but Laverne and Shirley was always in color, as far as I know. And uh, I Love Lucy was like... Black and white. 97% of their shows yeah. were black and white. Right. I understand that, yes. Okay. Okay. So, no, they're not the same-ish <laughs> show. Oh, God. Hello, Sick Boy. How are you doing? We got to meet you as well this past weekend. Sick Boy! Not even close? Okay, well, I tried. I tried. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gave it a good go. <laughs> gave it the old college try. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, we reviewed tonight the um, Bombshell line by Vapecraft Inc. If you had to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, what would you give it? I'd give it like a... There were two that I actually liked. Giant fucking thumbs down, baby. Giant thumbs fucking down. There were two that I liked. So, can you let the dog out? She is sitting there whining at us. No, come here. Come on. She just wants some attention. Um, 
they're the two I like. So if you if you like a pineapple and coconut, this one's not bad. I can think I think I'm gonna vape on this one too after this one's gone because like I need more because this is almost dead. Um, and the strawberry marshmallow fluff, it was it was okay. Like I'm not a strawberry marshmallow fluff person, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. So. Cause just because I hate, I'm not a big strawberry person. But I look at it like this. If one flavor, for me personally, one flavor is the only good thing in that line, the whole line is a... Well... Because one you're not, flavor out of five cannot save an entire line. But also, if you're buying the juice, you're not buying the whole line usually. That's true. So, That's very true. you have to do it based on that juice. I would definitely stay away from the whatever the fuck this one was. Uh, Audrey. Audrey. I would stay the fuck away from that one. Uh, I would definitely stay away from the one that I said throw in the garbage can. That is Elizabeth. And Sophia is like, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not great. Yep. So if I had to recommend anything, I would say Strawberry Lover. Uh, definitely Marilyn. Marilyn. Margaret? <laughs> I saw Margaret and Yeah, Margaret, somewhere. Marilyn, same thing. <laughs> Go, so, man. So, please. you just told her to come over there. Please. Go, so, go Marilyn and go Lucille, those are the two that we give oh. thumbs up for. No. I, okay. I don't co-sign to your bullshit. Okay. <laughs> this, <laughs> Heavy, are you Bray Wyatt's brother? Pretty close, June Shannon. Pretty close. Kind of. Maybe a little bit. Lucy came after the honeymooners. See, you know, I remember certain shows, but I'm not. No, good you don't. At, I'm not. No, good you at... don't. You don't remember them. <laughs> that fucking show went off the air 25 years before you were even a fucking. But I used conception. to watch that channel. What was it called? Um, Nick at Night. Yes. Yeah. So I used to watch that, but I just can't remember. Hey. And my brain sucks. Like it really sucks. I can't remember shit. But anyways. Yeah, this line sucks. I don't have a, like, I emailed them to get a coupon code, <laughs> oh, and they didn't give me a coupon code. But, I mean, it's sixteen ninety nine for a 60, it looks like. Um, yeah, sixteen ninety nine for a 60 ML. So. Hey, and you can buy it on Seasel for four easy payments of $4.25. Well, that, that's a good thing, too. If people can't afford sixteen ninety nine, you can split it up into four payments. Pretty good idea. But anyways, that is our show. Thank y'all for hanging out. Um, the link will go up on the Vape Wives page on Facebook. So, go look over there if you are interested in any of these juices. Stop it. Um, thank you all for hang hanging out with us tonight. <laughs> My brain is fucking gone right now. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out. And with the honorary vape wife, Andy. Vape wife heavy. I better just call him heavy because everybody be calling him Andy. Anyways, y'all have a good night. Good night. We'll see y'all later. Bye.